Well, you know, that's that's interesting. It, it, that project was not released in the United States. Um, that project was uh, released in Europe, actually, uh, sometime when I was in Germany. And what had happened was that I had this album called Just Like That with Mad Lion, and we did about 30 tracks for this album. I had about 10 of them with me when I was touring last year in uh, in Europe. And so what I was doing was teaching my children how to start their businesses from ground up, et cetera. So my, my eldest son, uh, Chris, he's the DJ actually, or was DJ there uh, uh, for that tour. Uh, my uh, second uh, son, uh, youngest child actually, Isaac, he's a tech on, on, on the stage. And my daughter, Journey, actually time but she calls herself journey as well uh she's head of merchandise so she goes out and sells the t-shirts the cds and all of this type of stuff and so she's learning at a young age how to be an independent woman uh at a very young age and and and, and it's important in our family because we have we're a family of entrepreneurs so it's important that our children at a young age learn how learn trade free trade and how to trade in Germany, how to trade in France, England, China. Uh, these people have different currencies, things of worth different things over there uh, than here. So this is how Never Forget really came up. It was like a family project that uh, we created it off of some spare work that we had actually. And it was only for the tour. We only pressed up a few of them and it was only for the tour. But if you want to know the inside, inside story, it was a homeschool project. <laughs> it was a homeschool project. This society that we live in, as great as the American society is, as, as much opportunity as it, as it affords, is just about as much opportunity as it takes away as well. It's kind of 50-50 on that. And, and we don't really focus on the takeaway part. The takeaway part is to have a goal and not fulfill it, not because you, you tried and failed or, you, or you know, something else happened, but because your time is being eaten up by something else. That your, your precious mind, your infinite mind, which your mind is infinite, is being squeezed into a desk and an order and a schedule and so on. And let me say this too. Uh, you know, in no way is there any kind of unwarranted criticism for those that have good paying jobs. Uh, uh, in this country, if you have a job, try to hang on to it and do the best work you can uh, to hold your job and hold, and hold your family and yourself down. This is more philosophical. This is more, even while you're working at whatever job you're working on, consider your purpose. Consider That's what the song is about. Consider your purpose. Consider how much time. The song is um, uh, op uh, 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 open up your mind. They're taking your time. It's like you in prison when you don't use your mind. Uh, rise up and shine. They're taking your time. It's like you in prison when you don't use your mind. That that's the the core of the song. They're taking your time. It's like you in prison. Uh, and, and so wherever you go, whatever you do, whether you have a job or don't, is your time being used wisely toward your purpose? So that was really the aim of that song. It's funny you would pick that song. I had fun with the fly and fine clothes. I had none of them. But when it came to MC rhymes, I had a ton of them. People told me go get a job. I would run from them. I saw the workforce. Back to what I said about poverty being traumatizing. We're traumatized by poverty. And the biggest part of the trauma is, especially from the male side, high ego and low self-esteem is a conflict. So what starts to happen is, it's almost like... That's an interesting... That's interesting. Well, let me say this, that um, the, the phrase speaks for itself. Uh, high ego, low self-esteem. Um, 
but but if, if you want to go even deeper into it, keep in mind that what what we call low self esteem these days is not necessarily a uh, a form of self hatred or self deprivation. Some sort of uh, when you say low self esteem, I don't believe in myself. I I don't value myself. Or I don't believe that I can kind of thing. These days, um, I think low self-esteem is not caused by, say, mental uh, deficiencies, if I could use that word, like depression or stress or whatever. I think this is caused more by technology today, that people's low self-esteem is that technology is so overwhelming, you don't want to do anything with your physical body anymore. You just say, listen, keep up with the technology. But what we're doing is creating artificial intelligence to replace organic intelligence. And when you replace or, uh, artificial intelligence with organic intelligence, low self-esteem is the final equation. It's, you know, self, the idea of self-esteemed, the idea of the, st- the self being esteemed is, it, it, I believe, can only happen through organic intelligence. And if your organic intelligence is not really being heightened, but your awareness of artificial intelligence is what is being heightened, the end result is low self-esteem.